Princess, Prince and Princess Akishino. Honorable Mayor of Fukuoka City, distinguished members of Fukuoka Prize Jury, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to express my deep appreciation and honor for being awarded with the Fukuoka Prize. I cannot be fully confident if I'm really worthy of this important prize because I am only familiar with just a part of the world, Kyushu and the eastern part of Afghanistan, and I'm not so um, I'm not a so-called cosmopolitan. That said, however, I could share with you the anxieties and sufferings that are common throughout Asia. Afghanistan, for the last uh, 35 years, have suffered from vortex of wars, uh, foreign interventionism, as well as largely prevalent drafts and flooding which have resulted in the gradual loss of living space for the people there. The impact of climate change and global warming incurred upon the local community is not as simple as you may think. Once the agricultural nation, which used to enjoy nearly 100% food self-sufficiency, has reduced it by half and is facing the critical condition. Considering the fact that uh, almost all the citizens are farmers without cash earnings, it is the frightening situation. The reported Afghanistan issues have covered only on politics, wars, or otherwise the dark side of the traditional society, but rarely on the forces of nature. We ourselves do not notice it either in the beginning. Um, the uh, PMS or Peace Medical Service Japan is a medical organization, as the name suggests. We at PMS had a bitter experience in the year 2000 when the major draft surfaced that we could have saved a number of patients if we had had clean water and enough food. Uh, in the international support programs, uh, water and food sh uh, shortage caused by drought had not drawn much attention. So we have developed ourselves drinking water sources, water facilities of various sizes, and water intake facilities above all. We have been doing that uh, uh, because uh, the people in the areas are having difficulty in taking water from large rivers when the uh, groundwater is depleting. Uh, we are now working on securing the survival space for uh, 650,000 farmers currently living in the area of 165,000 hectares um, at one corner of the grain belt in the eastern Afghanistan uh, to make it as a reconstruction model when it's completed. Wars never solve problems. Military interventions have aggravated the situation. On reflection, it may not have been the problems intrinsic to Afghanistan. International level violence has taken the world by storm, and Asia as a whole is stricken with poverty where uniformity is promoted in the absence of diversity. Hard pressed for food for each day, with intrinsic traditions and cultures, hometowns, pride as mankind, spirit of harmony, all being lost, moral and spiritual poverty are infested in pursuit of economic development at any cost. Also, false illusion that the nature can be manipulated would surely bring about fatal devastations to the world. Loss of um, interest in nature has caused climate change, which may be representing the present-day pathological condition. It is not an affair of other people. The tower of bubble, broken free from the nature, will surely collapse. People are a part of nature. Unless science and technology, medicine, and all the other activities of people are carried out in a way to achieve harmonization between nature and people and among people, the path to survive will be blocked. Reviewing the ideas which have been nurtured by the recipients of this award, I'm pleasantly surprised that I sympathize them so much that I feel that I am not alone. 
it is a great encouragement. The voices may be small today, but hopefully they will transpire into huge ties behind us. With this note, let me conclude my words of appreciation. Thank you very much.